ordinary differential equations method of variation of parameters the second order linear differential equations with constant coefficient d square y by dx square plus a dy by dx plus by equal to f of x where a and b are constants the differential equation can be rewrite as d square plus a d plus b into y equal to f of x where capital D is d by dx. The solution of the differential equation is same y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. The complementary function can be obtained as usual method. That means that is complementary function is equal to a y1 plus b y2. That means the complementary function the value the coefficient of a write it take it as y1 and the cap uh, coefficient of capital b take it as y2 and the particular integral is p into y1 plus q into y2 where p is equal to minus integral y2 f of x by y1 y2 dash minus y1 dash y2 into dx and q is equal to y1 f of x by y1 y2 dash minus y1 dash y2 into dx so the f of x is right hand side of the given differential equation so this is the procedure to solve the given differential equation using method of variation of parameter so now first problem solve d square y by dx square plus y is equal to secant x using method of variation of parameter solution now the given differential equation first i am going to write, write in the standard form like that d square plus take y outside so 1 into y is equal to secant x so where capital d is d by dx okay so now already i told you in the method of variation of parameter complementary function is same as usual method so the auxiliary equation d by m so m square plus 1 equal to 0 so m square equal to minus 1 so m is equal to plus or minus root of minus 1 that means m is equal to plus or minus i so this is a form plus or minus i beta no alpha no alpha means complementary function is only a into cos beta x plus b into sine beta x so beta is 1 coefficient of i beta is 1 only so no alpha so the complementary function is a cos x plus b sine x so this is complementary function as usual method now we want to find out the particular integral for the particular integral we want y1 and y2 y1 is coefficient of capital a in complementary function y2 is coefficient of capital b so here y1 is cos x y2 is sin x so y1 y2 can be obtained from the complementary function so y1 is cos x y2 is sin x so now i am going to find particular integral for that y1 value so y1 value is y1 is equal to cos x y2 is equal to sin x and now y1 dash y1 dash is cos x differential is minus sin x y2 dash is equal to cos x so now for the particular integral i want to find out capital p and capital q so for each capital p and capital q the denominator value is y1 y2 dash minus y1 dash y2 so now i am going to find y1 y2 dash minus y1 dash y2 this can be obtained by like the determinant method so this into this is cos square x minus this into this minus sin square x so minus of minus plus sin square x is equal to 1 so now for the particular integral i am going to find capital p capital p is minus integral y2 f of x divided by y1 y2 dash minus y1 dash y2 into dx so this is the formula for capital p so now minus integral y2 what is y2 y2 is sin x so now sin x 
and f of x already i told you f of x is the right hand side of the given equation what is the given equation d square by dx plus y equal to secant x so the right hand side is secant x whole divided by this is 1 into dx so now minus integral secant x what is secant x 1 by cos x 1 by cos means sine by cos tan x so now the integral of tan x is log secant x so minus tan x integral is log secant x so now we found the capital p so next i am going to find capital q so capital q is capital q is equal to integral y1 f of x divided by y1 y2 dash minus y1 dash y2 into dx so integral y1 y1 is cos x so cos x f of x is right hand side of the given equation so this is secant x divided by already we found this is 1 into dx integral secant x is 1 by cos 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 cancel only everything cancel so that only dx so integral of dx is x so q is equal to integral of dx x so we found p and q so what is particular integral particular integral is p y1 plus q y2 so now which is equal to p y1 what is p y p value p value is minus log secant x so now minus log secant x into y1 y1 is cos x plus q y2 q is x y2 is sin x so this is particular integral now the solution is y is equal to cf plus pi so write the solution y is equal to what is cf a cos x plus b sin x and the particular integral this is a particular integral cos x right here so minus cos x into log secant x plus x sin x so this is the solution of the given differential equation so for continuous support subscribe this video visit us at www.hariganesh.com so purchase our textbook for the easiest methods of solving problems all the best